The dead specimen subject 687M is another in a line of horrific specimens from our dead series of uh, roughly one third scale zombie busts. We did the first series that we did last year was a set of three. We decided that for Comic-Con this year, we wanted to bring back the, the specimen series and do a fourth one. And the difficulty with doing a bust of a zombie is, you know, a lot of the zombies, when you see them on film or in comics, they're missing an arm or they're missing a leg because, of course, you have to destroy the brain to destroy the zombie. So in doing the busts, each time we do them, we have to come up with a new bit of trauma, if you will, for each one. And uh, Matt Falls sculpted this one, and he did an awesome job. Well, Joe uh, Allard did the uh, rendering, very loose rendering, and it was open to interpretation, but the one main characteristic of it is was the missing jaw. And I had already done the six scale jawless guy, and I didn't want to take the same approach on that one. There's some, some similarities. The conclusion I came to was not just to have his jaw sculpted as if it was um, cut off or shot off. My, my thought process was somebody reached in to his mouth, grabbed his lower jaw, and just ripped it out. And that way, that allowed his uh, lower lip and what was left uh, of the remaining skin just to kind of come down. So I can give it a little bit more characteristic rather than just a bunch of guts and gore. And of course, leave the tongue intact because then that gives it a, even a little bit more character. So uh, that was the initial uh, reaction to approaching the what is now termed as overbite. It was called jawless at first, but uh, as I was sculpting him, I thought, overbite. Looks like he's got an overbite. So in the emails for the approval process, I started calling him overbite, and I think it, I think it stuck. But he was also, like I said, since the rendering was renderings were pretty loose, I decided, uh, well. You know, I used to be in makeup effects, so, and zombies are something I actually have done in makeup effects, and part of that, the fun of doing a zombie is the later stages of decomposition, so that was something I wanted to bring to the sculpture, really make this guy uh, decayed, make his hair matted down, make it look as if he's been sitting in a, in a, a storage container for the last three weeks, uh, and, you know, you can almost smell him. So that was the idea of, uh, of the advanced stages of, of decomposition and, and uh, you know, the muck that you see. It's grotesque, but it's awesome. And when you put them all together, um, it's a great display for Halloween, I'd say. And um, we're probably going to do some more because they're actually very fun to work on.